So students, welcome to Aryabhat Ashram. Now here, the question is related to the mixture concept. There are two containers, X and Y. X contains 100 ml of milk and Y contains 100, 100, sorry, 100 ml of water. 20 ml of milk from X is transferred to Y after mixing well, 20 ml of mixture in Y is transferred back to X. So and so. A series of statements are given. Uh, one important point to note here is this, if you solve this question, then anyhow it will take at least five to seven steps. But how to minimize the steps? In here, the only way to minimize the steps are, is uh, you have to you don't uh, follow those steps which are not necessary for the questions to get solved. That's the only way to minimize the steps. Now see here, I'll show you how to minimize the steps. It's given X is having 100 ml of milk. We'll go one by one, okay? Y contains 100 ml of water, okay? Now it's telling 20 ml of milk from X is transferred to Y. 20 ml of milk has been transferred from X to Y. Then what will be the new scenario? X will be left out with 100 ml of milk. Y will be having 120 ml of what? Water plus milk, yes. That has to be focused upon water plus milk both. Now here in Y, 20 ml of milk is there and 100 ml of water is there. So what will be the ratio of milk is to water in Y? 20 is to 100 is nothing but 1 is to 5. So milk is to water is 1 is to 5 in Y. Now the next step is after mixing well, 20 ml of mixture in Y is transferred back to X. So, 20 ml, the next step is, see, 80 ml of milk is already there in X in the second step. 120 ml of water plus milk is there in Y. So, Twenty ml of mixture in Y is transferred back to X. So out of one twenty twenty ml water plus milk is transferred to X. Okay, then X will be having hundred ml of milk plus water, and Y will also be having hundred ml of milk plus water. Now, what should be the next step? Here it's given M denotes the proportion of milk in X and N denotes the proportion of water in Y. And we are asked to find the relationship between M and N. So we have to focus only upon the proportion of milk in the final mixture of X and proportion of water in the final mixture of Y, nothing else. Other things can also find, can also, other things we can also find out, but that's not necessary. So M denotes the proportion of milk in X. So here, X will be having, in this 20 ml of milk and water, ratio of milk and water is what? 1 is to 5. And we are asked to find the proportion of milk in X. And proportion, milk is what? Total six units are there. So six unit equals to 20 ml. One unit will be equal to what? 20 by six. That is 10 by three ml. So milk in X will be what? 80 plus 10 by three. 10 by three is nothing but three one by three. 80 plus three one by three is 83 1 by 3 ml of milk and this is the value of m 
because it said that M is the quantity of milk in X. Okay. Now we do not need to find the quantity of water in X because it's not been asked. And here N denotes the proportion of water in Y. Proportion of water in Y out of 120 ml, 20 ml has been transferred to X. So the amount of mixture in Y will be what? 100 ml. And out of 100 ml, milk is to water is what? 1 is to 5. So 6 units is equals to 100 ml. Water is what? Out of 6 units. 5 units. 6 units are 100. 5 units are 100 by 6 into 5. 3, 50. So here, 250 by 3. That is nothing but 83, 1 by 3 ml. This is only the value of N. <clears throat> now focus here. M is equals to 83, 1 by 3. N is also equals to 83, 1 by 3. So M is equals to N. Okay. So M is equals to N. That's the final answer. M is equals to N. Thank you.